Hey team, Will Cobb here, and I'm here to teach you how to develop 35 millimeter film at home. I have a full featured video that you can go check out, links below, that if anything in this video is confusing to you, you can go check that video out and learn all the little details, tricks and tips for that video. Let's build our kit out. You'll need a bucket to hold everything, two to three accordion bottles, a Patterson tank, a measuring beaker, a bottle of photo flow, clips to hang your film, a Sharpie to mark your chemicals, a thermometer, something to open your film, something to stir the chemicals, two funnels, gloves, dark bag, C41 chemicals, and a sous vide. Not shown in those clips is distilled water for mixing the chemicals, scissors to cut the film, and a coat hanger to hang your film to dry. First, we want to put our distilled water into a bucket with tap water heated with the sous vide to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, open your chemicals and follow the instructions to the T to mix them and put them into your accordion bottles. Now we have to open and load our reel in the dark bag. It cannot be exposed to light until after developing. You'll need to put your Patterson tank light tight lid, center column, film reel, and scissors into the dark bag. Now I'm going to show you what you're supposed to be doing inside the dark bag. I highly recommend practicing with a throwaway roll of film in the light before trying it in the dark bag. You can take the can opener to the bottom of the canister and pull out the film. Cut the leader and begin ratcheting it onto the reel with the little balls on each side of the reel. Use your thumbs to help find the notch. Cut off the last bit when it's completely on the reel. Another way is the film leader retriever. Now this is my favorite way. You can watch my full length video on how it works, but it goes in and pulls out the leader and leaves the canister intact if you want to use it again. It makes it much easier to roll onto the reel in the dark because you can preload it. Once the film's on the reel, replace the center column with the flat side down. Put it into the tank and put the funnel cap back on and turn it until it clicks to lock it light tight. Before we start developing, make sure you put on gloves. These are toxic chemicals. Step one, pour 500 milliliters of 102 degree tap water into the tank and let it sit for one minute. Dump it into the sink after the minute. Step two, pour developer in and agitate for 10 to 20 seconds with the agitator stick. Place the cap on the tank and do four inversion cycles with a slight twist every 30 seconds until you reach three and a half minutes. Pour back into the developing bottle. Step three, pour in the blicks and agitate for the first 10 to 20 seconds with the agitator stick. Do four inversion cycles with a slight twist every 30 seconds until you reach eight minutes with this kit. I always keep paper towels handy. Pour back into the blicks bottle. Step four, rinse in lukewarm tap water for at least three minutes. The light tight cap can come off while rinsing. Step five, pour on solution of photo flow diluted to one to 100 milliliters of distilled water for the final rinse. This will help keep your film from streaks and water stains. Hang your film where it can drip freely and you finish developing your roll of film. All right, that's it for the 35 millimeter developing session. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little something. This was a really stripped down version, but if you wanna have the full experience and know all the little details in one long explanation video, I've got that video linked down below. So head over there and watch that if you need any more information about it. I've got links to everything that I've been using down below. And thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get notifications about new videos that come out. Go like me on Instagram and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.